All right, guys, it is going to be the probably the last segment of the video here in uh, Clearwater. So what I am doing, I have got the pit barrel going over there, and I've also got my little Weber, little Smoky, getting hotted up right now. We got the coals on there, just letting them get hot. And the plan for tonight, I'm cooking a nice meal for us. I've already got some corn hanging on the pit barrel now, so we're going to do uh, corn. And I'm trying something different just for the fun of it. I had I had a pack of bacon in there that we had bought that we haven't been cooking yet. So I draped some of the bacon over the corn in the corn holder. And uh, I don't know, maybe it'll add a little flavor and smokiness to the cook. So we're going to have uh, bacon wrapped corn, or at least while it's cooking anyway. I also hung a few extra pieces of bacon in there as well, just to have as a, you know, a little side snack or something, maybe even appetizer. All right. And then for the grill, for the Weber, we've got two prime ribeye steaks and we've got two prime fillets that I'm cooking for the women. Me and Steve usually like to opt for the ribeyes. That's our favorite cut of steak. So I've already, I trimmed them this morning and seasoned them with salt and pepper. They've been in the fridge all day, just, uh, you know, soaking in that seasoning. And I'm going to be pulling them out just a little bit and uh, cooking them on the Weber. And I'm looking forward to it. It's uh, smelling really good out here. Everybody that's been coming by has been uh, talking about how good it smells out here. And it smells like it's going to be a good dinner. So I'll show you a couple clips along the way of the uh, steaks as I cook them. And I'm looking forward to uh, chowing into them tonight. <laughs> I'll give you a little peek at the corn and the bacon so you can see what it looks like in here in the pit barrel. You see all that smoke. Part of that's because that bacon is down inside there. Plus, I've got some more bacon uh, hanging there. But there you go. You might be able to see it there. Fresh corn and bacon. All right, we'll put the lid back on it so it don't get too hot and blaze up on us. And these are just about ready. We'll go ahead and probably, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get the lid here and uh, let the whole grill start getting hot. All right, we got the Weber ready to go. I just dropped a few little pieces of pecan wood on there to add a little bit of uh, extra smoke to it. There's our two ribeyes right there and our two fillets. And we are getting ready to set these babies on here right now let's go ahead and uh let's go ahead and start get a little space there between them all right start my counter right there
All right, guys, there it is. I just pulled the steaks. We got the corn, everything is pulled now, ready to go. I'm just gonna give you one little shot of it, a little peek. We're gonna let them rest. There's our ribeyes and there are our fillets. We got the corn and the bacon down there too. So we're gonna let them rest for a few minutes. Everybody's getting the rest of the meal uh, prep and we're getting ready to go and eat. It's gonna be delicious and I can't wait to try it. You got the mac and cheese ready? Of course I do. All right, Abby's got the I'm mac and cheese. I'm responsible for mac and cheese every time. <laughs> <laughs> Always mac and cheese. It's so good though. It just it just goes with the meat. <laughs> and broccoli. You and got the you got the fresh no steamed broccoli. Yeah. 